Greetings to you all and a blessed Sunday to each and every one of you. I hope you are all still doing great. So let's get into this lesson. Today we'll be dealing with uh, types of orders, the four different types of orders except uh, instant execution or market execution. Uh, these orders are called pending orders. They are pending orders and they are four. They are four types. The pending orders work in this way. Uh, they are set and they are activated automatically when price reaches them and acts in a certain way according to the type of pending order. You will get to see what I mean when I say price reaches them and acts a certain way. So uh, you may set pending orders due to uh, different reasons. We have different reasons for setting pending orders because it, uh, you might find that some people are working so they cannot, uh, they don't have time to stay around on the market. So what you can do is that you can analyze then set uh, your pending order at uh, specific prices or at certain prices. Or you can also be told or directed to set this uh, pending order by your signal provider or your mentor. So uh, that's uh, how pending orders are. They work automatically when price reaches a certain point. So uh, the first one is the, you will start with the stop orders, which is the buy stop. Yes, then also the sell stop. Yes, yes. So these two orders uh, are set in the direction or in the current direction of the market. What I'm trying to say is that. Uh, what happens to these orders is that when you set them at a specific price point or a specific price level, when price reaches that area and continues in that direction, the orders will be activated. So these are the stops. So the limits, we will have the buy limit. Sell limit. Uh, the limits work in this way. They are for when price touches this point, then goes in the opposite direction. When price reaches that point you've set for your buy limit or sell limit or your or any limit order for that matter. Uh, if it reaches that point, it touches that point, then retraces or goes back, that's when your limits are activated. So you can see that they differ uh, with the stops because uh, for the stops to be activated, price has to touch, then continue in that direction. Whilst the limits, it has to touch, then turn back or go in the opposite direction. It's not continuous, it's uh, reversing. Price has to touch then bounce off or prices to touch or retrace prices to touch and reverse whatever you may call it but then one thing that happens is that price touches uh, that point and then it does not continue in that direction instead it goes back that's for the limits to be activated then the stops price touches then continues so let's uh, dissect them and uh, get to know them thoroughly so i'll start with the buy stop This is for the buy stop. What happens with the buy stop is that uh, it will be, remember, the stops are put whereby you know that uh, price will touch that price 
or the market will touch that price then continue in that direction so from the buy stop it will be put above the current market price let's say the market is running it's at a price of uh, 1.6111 let's just put it there uh, you will set your buy stop order remember it's a pending order so uh, it will be activated when price has reached that uh, point you've set so let's say you set your order at 1.6 at a price of 1.6 1 for 1 that's 30 pips above the market price so here is your order your order will sit there so what will happen is that uh, as the market continues to rise it's not yet activated it's inactive it's just sitting there you set your lot and everything and it's just sitting there you set it there because you believe that a uh, uh, the market will touch the certain price then continue and then you fear that you might not be around when this happens so you set that order i hope now it's it's getting clear so you set that order at that price it's the buy stop so the market continues it touches the moment it touches and passes this price then your order is activated it's the same as someone who sat and wait and uh, waited for that price and uh, executed instantly and placed a buy right away but then you were not away but then yeah uh, you did the same thing as that person who who waited on the market i hope i'm making sense because uh, let's say we, we have two people here person a and person b person a sets this buy stop and goes and uh, they do uh, whatever they may be doing they may be working or they may be having fun or anything any activity but then they are not on the market. Then person B waits. They sit and say, I want to wait until a price reaches this point. Then I'm going to buy. So you see, uh, in the end, uh, all the orders were in. It's a buy. The orders were a buy. Just that uh, the other one was automatic. And the other one was uh, manual. For person B, it was manual. For person A, it was automatic. They went there. It was just activated. It was just triggered then the buy was placed automatically on his behalf or her behalf. Then for person B, they executed manually. They waited for that price to be reached. Then they uh, placed a buy. So this is it. Then as it continues, you'll get your profit. Remember when you buy and it rises, you get your profit. So that's for the buy stop. It's activated when price touches, then continues in that direction. So let's come. The opposite is said for a sell stop. Remember, these are just that they are automatic orders. So this is for a sell stop. Let's see right now uh, the current market price. Is that one point three four two zero? So uh, you set your sell stop below. Your sell stop must be set below the current market price. This is the current market price. So your sell stop must uh, be set at a price which is below the current market price. So let's just say you set it at 1.3400. That's 20 pips below the current market price. When it touches and passes, your order is activated. And as it continues, you will see your profit. Just like in the same, uh, uh, the same uh, situation, person A and person B. Person A set this sell stop and went away from the market. Person B set, uh, didn't set anything. They just waited and uh, executed manually execution manually uh, means just buy and sell right there on the spot you get on the market then you uh, select uh, buy or sell that's manual execution so these are orders the 
the limits and the stops they are pending orders so as you can uh, even hear it's pending it's pending it's still to come it is an instant you don't do it right away but then you set them right away but then the orders are not uh, executed right away they are executed at a certain point in the market or at a certain price in the market it's pending pending so this is for the sell stop then the limits as we explained uh, let's start with the buy limit What you'll find with the, the, the limit is that they are different from the stops in the sense that we said price has to touch then reverse in order for uh, them to be uh, activated. And they are set at opposite points in the market. What do I mean by opposite points? Is that a buy limit will be set uh, below the current market price. Just because it's a buy limit doesn't mean it has to be set above market price like the buy stop. Remember the buy stop, you set it above market price. But then the buy limit is set below the current market price. Because remember, we say it will touch, then it will activate that order. It's for a buy. The buy stop and the buy limit is for the, is for the buy. And uh, the buy stop is set above the current market price. The buy limit is set below uh, the current market price. Then the sell stop and the sell limit is for the sell. It's for sell orders. Just that the sell stop is set below the current market price. Then the sell limit is set above. I hope uh, you are following. So for the buy limit, remember we said it will, it will be a, a buy order. But then it will be set below the current market price. So let's see. Uh, we have this it's one point seven nine six eight zero so we will set the buy limit around an area here and say it one point seven nine four it's uh, you did your analysis you saw that uh, price will reach a certain point and reverse so for this uh, order to be executed for this order to be triggered let's say trigger let's call it triggered or activated you must uh, the price must go the market or price must go down so it goes down it must touch it must touch this area then go back the moment it goes back then the limit is activated this is what we're talking about when we say uh, the market must uh, touch this price then reverse or retrace so this is how it will work this is how it will work market the price must be touched then as it goes up above that price the order is uh, activated or triggered automatically then you have your buy it's a buy order remember it's a buy order the buy stop and the buy limit are buy orders just that they are set at different points in the market as you can see uh, remember the buy stop was set above the current market price and uh, for that order for that order to be fulfilled price had to touch and continue in that direction but then this one is the opposite because you can see the price touched but then it wasn't activated. It only became activated when it reversed. It touched it for the second time and went in the opposite direction. So this is the limit. Then your buy will be activated. So this is for the buy limit. Price has to touch, then touch it again in the opposite direction. So it's, it has to be touched when going down and when coming up. So if you find that uh, your price comes then it touches this limit and doesn't come back again to touch it for the second time in a reversal state or reversal form and price continues this order will not be activated <coughs> this order will not be activated 
it will just uh, sit there until you cancel it because uh, its requirements were not fulfilled. So let's go to the cell limit. Cell limit. Okay, SL also sometimes uh, works as stop loss, but then in this case, it's cell limit is for cell limit. So the cell limit will be uh, also a cell odd. I'll have to go and uh, recap all these things when uh, when we're done with uh, the presentation. So this is what will happen with the cell limit. Let's see uh, the price. The current market price is at one point. So you will set your cell limit. Let's say you believe that uh, the market will touch a specific price, then it will reverse. That is for reversals or retracement. Uh, whatever you prefer, whatever you may think will happen. So let's say at this price of 1.4211. I hope it's visible. So what will happen is that... Uh, in order for this uh, limit to be activated, the market, just like the buy limit, has to touch and go back. Then it's activated. But then if it touches, it touches, then uh, goes in that direction. It's not activated. Because remember, for, for, for such cases, you have to... You have to set a buy stop, whereby if you want the order uh, to be triggered when the market touches the price and goes in that direction, that's for the buy stop. I hope you could see. And uh, okay, the prices which I set here, they are too high, but then it's still the same. It's above the market price. The price which I set here is still above the market price for two and one. It's above two and the one one. So it's still fine. Uh, so uh, where, 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 where were we? Okay, we're talking about this being activated. In order for this to be activated, the requirements are that it touches, then goes back, then your cell order is activated or triggered. So this is for the cell limit. It's set above the market price and... Uh, the requirements are that price touches it, then uh, reverses. Then if you find that uh, price didn't reach this area and reversed, if price never touched this point, your order won't be activated. Just like in the buy limit, if price never touches, but then it reverses without touching your point or your the price that you set for your order, it won't be uh, triggered so it's two cases whereby uh, the limits are not triggered one is when price never reaches that point price never touches and reverses and secondly is that uh, let's say price does touch but then it continues it doesn't come back it continues then your orders will not be activated so let's just uh, do a recap let's do a recap on these orders Let's start with the uh, buy stop. We see that uh, for the buy stop, the buy stop is set above. It's set. Okay, let me not use this. Let's use the bulletin. So it said it's set above the current market price CMP current market price buy stop and its requirements is that price has to touch and continue in that direction it's for when you see that price will touch and also continue in that direction that's for buy stop 
then let's go for cell stop for cell stop uh, set below the current market price and that's the same as the buy stop price has to touch and continue in that direction then we come to the limits here yeah, the buy limit whereby we see it it's set below the current market price Price has to touch and reverse. The cell limit is set above current market price. same uh, price has to touch and reverse price has to touch and reverse those are the requirements so all these orders they are set with price and uh, let's do this let's categorize them the cell limit okay let's start with the buy the buy stop and the buy limit will be used for buy orders. When they are triggered, you get you automatically get into a buy order. The sell stop. And the cell limit automatically get you into a cell order or cell position when they are triggered. So this is it. You just have to know where you should set them. These uh, the buy stop and buy limit, they are for buy orders they get you into a buy order or a buy position or a buy trade when they are triggered you just know where, where you have to set them the buy stop above market price and you have to know that price is to, it's where price will touch and continue it will be activated the buy limit is set below market price price will touch and reverse then uh, the sell stop uh, will get you into a sell order a sell position or a sell trade the sell stop is set uh, below the current market price will be set below uh, the current market price and price has to touch and continue the direction for that order then the sell limit will be set above the current market price and for it uh, to be fulfilled or activated or triggered uh, price has to touch that area then reverse that's it and uh, okay, yeah, that's it.